My dad, 74, trashed my apartment. I want to kick him out, but my wife says she thinks it's not the right thing to do. Recently my wife and I went on a vacation for two weeks. We're lucky that in our country, Covid has been kept at bay, so traveling within the country is pretty easy. My dad lives in our apartment. He doesn't pay rent. While we were away, he continued living there. Upon our return, the place had pretty much been trashed. There were fast food wrappers all over the floor, in the living room and bedrooms. Dirty shirts, several of them mine, being washed in the kitchen sink. Toilets in the bathrooms clogged up. One of the windows was left open during a rainstorm, letting rainwater in. Open condiment jars and cold cuts left out. Moldy food on the stove. A dozen half-finished coffees everywhere. Laundry just thrown on the floor in the living room. Appliances that were working perfectly perfectly fine before we left broken. He is actually in good shape mentally, but he's just always been a slob. This isn't the first time he's abused our space. He refuses to live by my rules, even though the house is in my name. A while back, he allowed his friends to use our home as a meeting place. When one of them started trying to recruit people for MLM, I said that the party was over and that I wanted everyone off my property. I called the cops and unfortunately in the heat of the moment, I lost my temper in front of them by saying if f the cops didn't remove them from my property, I would do so with force. My dad then got upset with me because I had disrespected his friends and made him look bad. I talked to my wife about it, and while she acknowledges that my dad is a slob and a hoarder, she doesn't want to kick him out because he gave us money towards the home for our wedding. She said that if something happened to him it would weigh on her conscience if she sided with me in asking him to leave. Too long didn't read, dad trashed my apartment and I want him to leave. Wife said she feels bad about asking him to leave because dad gave us some money to buy the house and because of the risk of something happening to him. There were fast food wrappers all over the floor, in the living room and bedrooms. Dirty shirts, several of them mine, being washed in the kitchen sink. Toilets in the bathrooms clogged up. One of the windows was left open during a rainstorm, letting rainwater in. Open condiment jars and cold cuts left out. Moldy food on the stove. A dozen half-finished coffees everywhere. Laundry just thrown on the floor in the living room. Appliances that were working perfectly fine before we left broken. There's a really good chance this is some form of dementia. My 80-something granddad was doing stuff like this before he was dying. Diagnosed. He needs assessing and he's probably going to need to move to some sort of assisted living facility. If he was just a slob, why was he trying to clean shirts in the sink? People who have dementia often seem at first like they are disrespectful and careless, and their loved ones become very angry with them. This can be more difficult to see if your relationship has always been fraught. I respect not wanting him in your space it's entirely expected but I would try to handle it compassionately and get him checked out. A lot of what you're describing really sounds like it could be a sign of cognitive decline, and if you figure that out later on, you may regret treating him harshly for behaviors that were actually a sign of underlying illness. How did he manage to break multiple appliances over two weeks? That's not normal slob behavior. I really question your opinion that he's in good shape mentally if he does things like trying to wash shirts in the sink but giving up halfway though. Yeah, even if he's been a slob before, this seems beyond and he's 74. Have him evaluated cognitively. How sure are you that he's okay cognitively? Op sounds like he needs to be evaluated for dementia. Things that aren't signs of a slob. Leaving windows open for days during a rainstorm, washing clothes in the sink and leaving them there, leaving out sandwich making stuff for days, clogging multiple toilets in a short time frame and leaving them he is forgetting to flush and just reusing the same water without flushing, thinking ML Mers are your friends. He needs to be evaluated for dementia. Edit, these are all signs of starting a task, forgetting what you are doing, and abandoning it. My husband, 30M, thinks I've lost all flexibility and gotten a lot angrier in recent years. 
He's right. What do I, 30F, do? My husband and I have been together 10 years and have a 2 year old daughter. We both work full time, I work in an office and he works from home. Our daughter goes to daycare. My basic routine goes like this. Up at 5.30, get ready, take daughter to daycare. 1 hour commute, get to work by 8. Leave at 4.30, home at 5.30. Husband picks up child from daycare. Dinner slash chores slash sit down to eat as a family. Done with that by 7.30. Bath time and story time for daughter, put her to bed. Done with that by 9. It got to bed at 10.30 maybe, sometimes later. If all goes according to plan, I have about one hour to myself per day. If I get this one hour, I'm thrilled. I live for this one hour to feel like a person. However, sometimes I don't get the hour. Maybe I have to stay late at work or there's traffic or daughter needs me more than usual or family calls or something like that. If I don't get the one hour, I deal but I'm not happy. My husband sat me down the other day and told me that my bad moods are having an effect on my daughter. I come home angry sometimes and she hides. I feel terrible. For the past few weeks I've been working on deep breathing techniques and trying to regulate my mood while commuting home so I can come home with a happy face. But I feel like I'm breaking apart inside holding myself back. I've gotten close to punching a pillow a few times but I'm afraid of someone hearing me. I just feel sometimes like I'm close to breaking down. Except I've felt this way since I became a parent. It's not postpartum, I'm just so overwhelmed and tired. I didn't get much maternity leave, only 4 weeks at half pay. So I got in trouble at work for falling asleep at my desk all the time since our daughter wouldn't let me sleep through the night. We're past that stage but I'm still trying to make up for that poor performance at work. How can I manage all this and keep my sanity, as well as my family, intact? Too long didn't read, small setbacks lead to me melting down or bringing my bad mood home scaring my young daughter. What do I do other than mood regulation slash deep breathing? If I don't get my hour, I get pissy too. I think it's important to remember that we are all doing a lot, never mind the pandemic stuff on top of regular life. I empathize a lot with this post as it sounds so much like my day to day except I have a 3 minute commute so I find myself grinding my teeth because I have no time to go from work mode to mommy mode and I have no break in between. What if you started doing a 10 to 15 break when you come home to just go sit in another room, veg out stare at your phone, whatever. Then jump into dinner, chores, etc. Question mark. I make myself do this and I find I am a lot more calmer and not so quick to lose my temper when I get this decompression time to change modes. So, and I apologize if you have heard this before, but don't stress the chores and don't feel obligated to answer phone calls slash texts. I feel like in recent years we feel 110% obligated to answer the text or respond to the group chat or social media post shout out. Remember you don't have to do that. You can put that phone on silent or shut it off completely and put it in your underwear drawer for an hour or two. The end of the world will not happen lol and you may find yourself with a little less stress. I hope that my words help. Good luck fellow mom. This lifestyle doesn't seem sustainable. I don't blame you for being moody. What changes might be possible, even if difficult or complicated? For example, what about moving closer to work so you're not commuting for two hours? What about switching jobs? What about a few nights a week switching off where one of you does dinner with daughter and the other gets some free time? What about husband takes daughter to daycare? What kind of flexibility is there in his work hours? And yours? You sound insanely burned out and I am sorry skeptical honestly the best bit of advice I can give you is to accept help and let some things go. Seriously, if you can afford it, please hire a housekeeper to come one ex a week or at least a couple times a month. This takes care of the big cleaning items like bathrooms, vacuuming, dusting, cleaning countertops and stoves, etc. It will be a huge burden off your shoulders. Also, it's okay to let chores go. It might be easier for you to say Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday chores day if it's not one of those days then let the chores go. Secondly, 
it's okay to not cook every night or every other night. Maybe select two days a week where you cook bigger meals with leftovers. Basically do things to remove the burden from day. You and your family's priority is for you to be happy and healthy. It's okay for you to need help and it's okay to ask exactly what you need help with from your husband. Please take the time for yourself and try not to achieve perfection in everything. That just leaves you feeling miserable skeptical. Cook every other night currently. Man, cooking used to be fun and now it's just a mad rush to make something with whatever we have. I'll talk to my husband about a cleaner. I think that could help and it's worth pushing for. Can you sit down with your husband ASAP and come up with a new flow? Even think outside of the box like instead of daycare, get a nanny in the house who can also do chores and prep dinner. Maybe you guys can take PTO for the next few days and figure this out. This sounds like an urgent matter considering you said your daughter hides from you. She is only two and is scared. That must be so hard for her. We plan to figure this out over New Year's Day when we're both home. My crush F24 asked me, M24, to marry her. Told her how I'd like to date her a year back. She shot down the idea saying she doesn't get relationship vibes from me. So I left her alone. Didn't persuade or push her. A year later, that is today, she texts me. Tells me her BF dumped her about 10 months ago. Says she wants to settle down. Asks me to marry her. A little bit about her. She has been selfish at times and I feel like she is just using me because she thinks I'm a safe bet as a husband. I told her this. She then started to tell me a few things she likes about me. Still don't buy that she is into me. And I'm afraid she might want to break off our marriage if and when she thinks she made a mistake. What do I do here? TL, Dr. Crush asked me to marry her. I think she is just doing it for her own sake and may not want to be with me for the rest of our lives. Update. I took your advice and said no. She doesn't accept that. She has been calling slash texting slash crying to give her one chance. Says if I want, we can try a relationship first. And whatever I decide after that, she'll be fine with it. I want to consider that, but she just seems manipulative. I think if I get involved with her she'll manipulate me into marrying her. Suggestions guys? Question mark. Do you not see how literally insane this is? I know, I just need someone to say it to my face that I'm an idiot thinking of going for it. This is insane, you're not even dating and she wants to get married. She's crazy, stay away from crazy. It's to make the ex jealous. Stop speaking to her. She's clearly a crazy person. You might be right. I recall, a couple of years back, she specifically told me that sometimes she would talk me because that would make her BF insecure and then he'd give her more time and attention. You say no and wish her luck. That's insane. Are you not sure she isn't pregnant with some random dude's baby?